Greg Johnson. Welcome to another edition of Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com. In this edition, we're going to be looking at the supershrinkme.com 120-day wellness challenge. Uh, I am now in day seven of the challenge, and I've been trying to blog either through writing um, photos of uh, food that I'm eating and, and videos like this one, I'm trying to keep up daily to update people on how things are going, how I'm progressing with this, and also to show you some of the, the tips and the tools uh, and the resources that I'm relying on to make this work. Um, so one of the, uh, the things that I want to show you today is a program that I wrote. Um, it's kind of like an app, but really I'm, I'm just using the spreadsheet uh, numbers that Apple has available for the iPhone and iPad. Um, so I set up a number spreadsheet to track water consumption, um, weight, blood pressure, um, oxygen level in the blood, a bunch of other things uh, that you can track in this spreadsheet, um, including nutritional supplements, things that you're taking. There are already some really good programs for the iPad and iPhone and Android smartphones um, to track your uh, you know, food intake, some of these will track your exercise. Some even have built-in GPS or pedometers to you know figure out how many calories you're burning. So I, I didn't really want to recreate the wheel on that. But what I felt was lacking was the ability to track some of these other things like percent body fat and, uh, as I mentioned, water intake, um, and to look for trends that might not otherwise be visible from these other programs. Because really... Um, Let's take calorie counting, for example. It's important to count calories. You want to know if, you know, this snack here might have 100 calories and this one over here might, you know, I've seen some little brownies that have like four or 500 calories. So you want to make smart um, food decisions. But once you get your appetite shifted over toward mostly grains and vegetables and fruits, um, you know, even according to Weight Watchers, they have a program where you don't even count points anymore because you're kind of focusing more on... Um, foods that have high nutritional value. So, uh, of course, counting calories or counting points doesn't really cause you to, um, to be less hungry, you know. You just feel bad about all the stuff you're eating. So, really, ultimately, the goal isn't to be counting calories, but to change your cravings, change your appetite. Um, and that's done through keeping track of how much sleep you're getting, how much water are you drinking, what kinds of foods are you eating, and how do those foods make you feel. Um, I, was, I was visiting with somebody today who said, you know, when you, when you drink a lot of water, you have to get up and go to the bathroom so you get exercise. Um, that's, it was sort of, sort of a joke, but really the truth is that uh, there are certain patterns we get into. So yes, if you do drink water, you are getting up more. So if you live, if you work at kind of a desk job and um, you find that you know, you're going for an hour or two without really much movement, um, one of the additional benefits to drinking a lot of water beyond just staying appropriately hydrated is that you will get up. Uh, it'll, there'll be that sort of um, reminder that you can't avoid, you know, that you need to get up and, and use the restroom and, and maybe then just go for a walk or, or run an errand. Um, so that's another thing I want to point out is that bringing it back to the topic of this video, by tracking your lifestyle habits, you can start to see patterns and benefits or uh, negative outcomes of the things that you're doing. And so um, anyway, so let me, let me get right to it. I want to take uh, the camera around and show you actually the iPad and how this spreadsheet works. When you see what I'm doing, um, you can repeat this on your own. I think you can recreate this on your own. I'll try to have the spreadsheet available online for download, but basically it's pretty simple. The app, uh, the numbers app for the iPhone or the iPad, the spreadsheet is, I think, about $5. So it's not that expensive, and of course it'll do other spreadsheets as well. So uh, without any further waiting, let's go ahead and go right to the, uh, the program so I can show you how it works. To get started, I'm going to show you the spreadsheet view. Um, and on the left, you might notice it says the spreadsheet was updated. That's on the iPhone. So this information is getting synchronized through the cloud, which means it's backed up. It means that you can enter it from 
multiple locations, which is very handy. You can even, on the iPhone, of course, you can dictate, um, just talk to it, and it, it enters your information, um, nutritional information, or whatever you're saying, it will type it in there for you. So that's very handy. Not many apps have that function. And this, again, is, is user customizable. So however you want to customize this, you can add extra um, fields for tracking, whatever you want to keep track of. In this example, in the, in the system I'm using, I have some basic categories. Um, here you see some blood pressure entries, and here's pulse, oxygen, the measurement of uh, blood sugar level, uh, if you want to do that. You know, a lot of people are not diabetic, but pre-diabetic, or need to be kind of monitoring their blood sugar just to see how their foods are impacting their blood sugar. So temperature also is something that people may want to keep track of, and certainly sleep, um, start time, stop time, and hours. Um, your weight, I, I put weight in kgs, of course you can fill in however you want to do that, and then percent body fat, um, exercise, and this would just be notes, and you know what exercise you did, how many minutes, and then the food that you've eaten, water in liters or fractions of liters, and then um, supplements that you're taking, and then finally notes for the day or for whatever that entry is. On the left you'll see some dates. I just filled that down for you know purposes of this example. But unlike a typical spreadsheet, we can go into this form view. So let me show you that. And here you'll see more like a a card, a uh, you know, little note card that you can scroll up and down and start entering in these things. So which arm was your blood pressure taken on? Let's say left. Uh, systolic, let's put in 120. Um, diastolic, let's put in um, oh, you know, 75. And pulse, let's put in 60. Uh, oxygen level, let's put in 99. Um, so you can just go down here and put in all of these uh, you know, items. And on sleep, what I've done here, at least for this spreadsheet, to make it, um, well, it's, it's maybe not easy to remember how to enter this, but it is easy to calculate. I just put in the sleep time, the start time as being on a 24-hour clock. I'll just put 22, you know, for 10 o'clock at night. And I calculate that out to a 48-hour, you know, two-day period. So let's say I, I sleep from 10 o'clock at night till 6 o'clock in the morning, which is just six hours beyond 24 hours, um, so I just put in 30. Okay, so it calculates that's eight hours of sleep. I know that probably sounds a little confusing to people, but once you get that down, it it means that you can create this formula, which basically says whatever this number is, subtract uh, you know this number from that number, and that gives you this number, and and that works consistently even if you've gone to bed at you know 1 a.m. and you get up at 10 o'clock in the morning or whatever, it's still going to calculate the number of hours properly. Um, and you can even enter these if it's 10.30, I would put 22.5, you know, 10.30, so now we're at 7.5 hours. And you notice on the left, it's constantly updating in real time out to that iPod. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Or it's iPhone, actually, sorry. Um, KGs, let's put in, uh -oh, you know, 95, let's say. Uh, percent body fat, let's put in 18. And exercise, um, we're just going to put in a triathlon for today. This is optimistic. <laughs> and food, um, now typically you wouldn't enter all of these in one entry. If you wanted to make your life easy, you could. If you didn't want to keep tracking necessarily when you ate what or when you, you know, had how many liters of water or whatever. I like to enter this throughout the day though. So I would say, you know, at, in this case, 5.14, um, I had, you know, a salad, uh, and then, you know, I'd put down water in liters. Let's say I'd, I just finished off. My system is when I finish a, a liter of water, then I just go ahead and enter it down. So, um, and, and I try to carry the same bottle of water. So, you know, once that's gone, I know I want to fill that up again, and, and at that time when I'm filling it up, or just as I finished it, I put down that I've eaten that. So anyway, and then as I mentioned here for supplements, what's kind of cool is you can go ahead and take uh, for some of these things that are you know have long spellings or whatever. Um, you can pick up your iPhone. Let's say you're using that throughout the day, and use the dictation feature with that. So uh, instead of having to type out long 
names of supplements or even if you're taking um, you know any kind of medication as well uh, you can use this for for writing or typing those in just talk into it and then notes these would be observations um, maybe commentary on your exercise or commentary about a food you ate and how that food made you feel did it make you hungrier did it cause you to uh, have any you know if you're allergic to something like wheat or dairy you might have some adverse um, intestinal you know side effects from that uh, you want to make notes of that so anyway um, I just want to show you this voice recognition feature because I, I think that's kind of cool a lot of these weight loss and nutrition and food calculating um, apps don't have this voice recognition feature but anyway here I can tap on supplements on the iPhone and I'll just go ahead and talk Glucosamine, comma, milk thistle, comma, vitamin D, 20,000 IUs, comma, vitamin C. So that was a lot easier than um, typing all that in. And as I mentioned before, these things do get replicated across using Apple's iCloud. So uh, that would be one reason why you'd also want to use an Apple product with this. Obviously, you know, any spreadsheet would work. You could use your desktop computer. Um, but I find that it's easier to track things in real time. So, you know, as you are finishing off that bottle of water to go ahead and... Um, I'll put done there, to go ahead and, and enter it in. Or if it's a food item, meals that you're tracking, you know, go ahead and do that in real time. And that's a little easier than trying to get back to your desk or open your laptop computer to, uh, you know, enter things. Um, okay, so, you know, that's basically, that's the app. And you can see here it's updated itself from what I said over on the iPhone. Now that's been imported here into the iPad. So if you're wanting to get started using this system, all you need to do is go to the App Store, either in iTunes on your desktop computer, um, or on your iPad or iPhone or iPod. Go to the App Store, look up Numbers, do a search for Numbers, and you will see uh, the information about that here and some examples of things you can do with the product. It's pretty sophisticated, actually. Um, but here are some of the charts you can start making once you have your data entered in there and look, you want to look for trends or get some motivation to see um, how effective your program is going. So um, anyway, uh, that's basically it. And I'm going to try to um, post some links to supporting documents as well as possibly have this spreadsheet online for people to download. I want to show you a little bit about the inner workings of this spreadsheet and how this is set up. You may want to just try to do this on your own. And so basically to do so, most of these are just basic, you know, typical columns at the top, right? And uh, column headings and then row entries. I chose to have every entry have a date and time. And that formula, uh, the format of this actually, is such that you can you can bring that up with the format painter which is I'm gonna zoom out here so you can see the full screen um, the format painter is in the upper right here it's that paintbrush and um, it's really actually just a symbol for paint it's the the Microsoft symbol for format painter but the functions different here so um, anyway so you, you tap on that and you can assign the format for this so here I say date and time and to get this function where you see it's the day of the week and then the month and the day and the year and the time to do that that's in here and you can pick um, pick that here so you see I've checked off the Thursday January 5th 2012 and as you're entering in the time um, I have mine in 24-hour format so you can pick whatever you want if you don't like that date format you can choose your own and that's all built into the numbers program. Um, and then going across here, this one was a little bit tricky, uh, the arm left or right. And, you know, for some people, you're just going to take your blood pressure, and you really don't care which arm it is, but some people want to keep track of which arm has what blood pressure, and, and sometimes there's some trends there. One is higher or lower than the other it may be relevant. So anyway, in this formula, um, and I, I say formula, it's actually the formatting of it. We can click on the formatting, and it's a pop-up menu. And you can see here, you can add different options. So that saves time, and it avoids errors from um, data entry 
errors, right? So you can just already have predefined entries. Uh, you could do that even for exercise. You could have a, a pop-up menu for what exercise you did and then have another column for how many minutes. You know, so there's, there's lots of variety here. Um, and here for blood pressure, those are just typical, you know, basic numbers entered in there. Um, same with pulse, oxygen, temperature, uh, sleep start, stop. This one here, though, as I mentioned, is a formula. So if I tap on that twice, you can see the formula. And it basically says, you know, take whatever is in this cell, um, the sleep stop time entered in uh, the 24-hour format plus, you know, whatever more hours and then subtract this number so that's why I was saying it makes the math easy um, I believe that this computer doesn't have a time function and I've tried to do this in Excel before and it's complicated because the formula for calculating something like this you know if you went to bed before midnight is one thing but if you went to bed after midnight then it's something else so you have to have like an if then else statement basically to make that work and it's just kinda complicated so this was a simple way to do this if you want to just enter in your sleep hours, that's fine too. You know, you could just delete those columns. Um, I use kgs as I mentioned. You could put pounds in there. That's just a basic, you know, number, cell, um, percent fat, and these are just text entries. Water in liters. There's nothing special there. Um, and this again, this is just text entry. And after you've created a spreadsheet in numbers, what you want to do is press this little plus sign up here and you can add a new sheet or a new form. And so the form is what lets you, it says choose a table, you can pick one of your spreadsheets and then it will create this database form for you, um, like you saw over here. And I'm just going to delete this one. Oh, there we go. Um, but anyway, that's how I created that form. So you create the spreadsheet first, then you t touch the plus sign, you say create a form, and it creates a form that's dynamic based on the spreadsheet. So as I've added columns along the way and thought of more things I wanted to track, that shows up in my, my form over here. So anyway, um, I'm trying to think of everything that people might ask about so that I don't get flooded with emails and questions, but uh, if I do get some questions, I will try to answer those either um, on an information page on the website or with email um, or a video or something. Ooh. Well, I know this has been a pretty simple and short video. Uh, I'm sweating because I actually got tired of having videos with poor lighting and poor sound and a shaky camera uh, and just overall poor quality. I've been recording videos with the iPhone 4S, which does pretty well, but um, when I'm out and about making videos, there are inevitably, you know, there's a semi-truck going by or something like that, or the wind is blowing, uh, or the um, lighting isn't quite right. So um, anyway, I thought, you know, I'd go ahead and start doing some uh, more higher quality videos uh, with better lighting, and the lights are getting hot, so that's why I'm getting sweaty. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and found this useful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me through the website. I plan to put all of this on one page, so all of the resources that are needed for this kind of homemade app are available there. And um, I guess that's it for now. So thanks again for all your support. And for all of those, if you've uh, signed up to keep track of the supershrinkme.com uh, 120 day wellness challenge. My name again is Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and I'll look forward to seeing you again next time.